PC hardware prices are finally starting to go down, but should you still wait to buy? What's up guys, Andrew here at my channel Geared Inc, where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And on my channel, it's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. You might have noticed a couple of things. First off, my intro was different. I'm kind of trying out something new to spice it up. So leave me feedback if you like that better or worse than the one I currently have had. Also, I'm back in my office. I have had family moving in and out, and I was down in the basement. I was kind of jerry-rigging a studio set so I could, you know, continue to put out videos. But um, we started doing major rehauls in the basement. It's going to be like my ultimate gamer space. I've been working on it quite a bit, so I've got a lot done on it but yeah it's just one of those things where i'm going to be in and out of this room i'm going to be in and out of other rooms in my house so you know i might be like sitting on my balcony in one of these just whatever i can find space because this is not just our office it's actually our guest room too so i have some family who's going to be moving in for a little while i have some family who just moved out i'm gonna have other family moved in so just understand that this might all change you know intermittently but anyway, let's talk about today's video. Hardware, PC hardware. That's basically what my channel's about. A big chunk of it anyway. Prices are finally starting to come down, which is great. We should all just, you know, round of applause or give yourself, you know, hug yourself, whatever makes you feel good. I'm definitely excited that we finally are getting better prices for PC hardware. But I'm here to kind of pro con this for a couple of different reasons. The first reason is that while prices are going down, there are a couple of big things on the horizon that might make it worth the wait. Secondly, there are a lot of good deals going on right now, meaning that it may not be worth the wait depending on your situation. So that's why I want to kind of go over pros and cons if you're looking for PC hardware right as of this moment. So the first thing is GPUs. Let's talk about kind of the elephant in the room. Graphics card prices have finally come down to reasonable levels where you're not gonna be paying through the teeth. Now this is just in North America. I get messages all the time from you guys who are in India and China and places where I don't live. I'm sorry, I can only give advice from my perspective. My perspective is I live in North America. This is the cost of things in North America. I'm sorry that I can't you know, I can't say because I know a lot of the, it's way, way more expensive still like Australia and England and stuff like that. I get it guys, but I'm just talking about North American pricing right now. So if you want to buy a graphics card, there are some pretty compelling reasons to buy one. There are some absolutely compelling reasons not to. So the compelling reason to buy one is you can finally get a new graphics card for the price that you should pay for it. Whether you're going Nvidia or you're going AMD, prices have normalized except for the RX 5, uh, sorry, the RX 56 and the RX, um, or Vega 56, I should say, and the Vega, Vega 64. Those are still overpriced. I'd stay away from them. I would absolutely, unless you have to buy them because you have a free sync monitor and you're locked into that uh, architecture, I would just do Nvidia because it's a better value for a better price. Um, at that performance level. So that's kind of my two cents when you're talking about, you know, just that whole space. But the reason that you might want to wait is because you might be getting a better deal. So Nvidia is supposedly going to be dropping their next gen GPU architecture, the 1100 series, whatever. It's supposed to be coming out soon. That's all we've been told, right? Nvidia overestimated the production of GPUs because they produced a ton of them for mining. Um, they had to take back a couple hundred thousand um, from the Asian market that basically didn't sell. So they're trying to get rid of them, which I believe they're purposely holding back next-gen stuff to do that. Now, even if that's the case, it's still a good idea to potentially wait because when this GPU drops, whenever it does, which it's most likely going to be this year, um, I believe it's going to be within the next, honestly, 30, 60 days, um, then we will basically see prices for current gen stuff drop even further. So if your current GPU is getting the job done just fine, I'd say hold off until this new one drops, try to save yourself a little bit more money. Now, if you, and I say that only because if you're an enthusiast, we all want that brand new one, but a lot of people want mid-tier stuff or that's what they can afford the mid-tier stuff for next gen from nvidia typically takes months of follow-up before that stuff drops as well so i mean unless the performance is just outrageous you're probably okay to buy a gpu but i would still haul off just a little bit if you can now ram prices have actually come down a little bit it's been surprising we've seen a little bit of a drop now they're still overpriced from where they were like two three years ago but it's good to see that the price has gone down however within the memory market there have been a lot of different things going on that make me a little bit nervous that ram prices may increase due to either the trade war going on right now between China and America or um, due to other factors, uh, you know, other le legal factors have kind of popped up recently in the memory market. So I think that right now memory is as good a price as we're probably going to see for a while. Um, I doubt it's going to go down dramatically. And if it goes anyway, I think it might actually tick back up. So if you want to grab a new kit around, this might be a good time to do it. The other thing in terms of components is motherboards, specifically for both AM4 and for um, Intel. So uh, Intel Intel has added support for their next gen supposedly GPUs or they're going to for the 370 chipset which is great um, because that will allow people who want to upgrade to an eight core you know eight uh, supposedly eight core variant from Intel for the consumer 
uh, space to do so without having to buy a new motherboard, which obviously they're taking a, you know, <laughs> it's kind of a page out of AMD's playbook. For AMD, we should be getting the budget B3, uh, 450, I should say, motherboards coming out pretty soon. On top of that, though, if you want to build an AM4 system and you just want to use the current chipset or the past chipset, which is 370 support and, you know, higher memory support, you're really not missing out on much. So it's a great place to save money anyway. So anyway, guys, this was just kind of a quick video today I wanted to drop to you all. It's been kind of a little crazy. Um, as far as the cracking giveaway, I am going to be doing a video for the winner on that. I sent out the email, but they have to accept it. And until they do, I don't like making a video because it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Um, but uh, right now, there's so much going on in the channel. I'm still waiting for those graphics cards so I can do the budget uh, streaming build. I have it all set up. I'm just waiting for some graphics cards. I'm going to do some, obviously, testing on that as well. Um, I've got a bunch of videos. I have a complete new sound setup I've got to do together. I haven't had the time to. It's been crazy. Life is crazy. But guys, I'm so excited. Make sure you get to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, hit the bell icon so you get notified when these videos drop. There's so much going on, but as always, I'm very humbled. Thank you so much for our growth this year. Remember, 12,500 subs by 2019. We're doing another giveaway and we give away really good shit on my channel. So make sure you get subscribed. The other thing too is thank you as always to my Patreon, my Twitch subs, and my people who use my Amazon affiliate link. So if you want to support me through any of those ways, guys, please do. If you're a Twitch sub or a Patreon supporter, your name gets put at the end of my videos as my way to say thank you to you. As always, I'm going to make all these videos, whether you watch them or not, but I hope you do. And I hope to see all of you next time here on Geared Inc.